So in one of the last videos, uh, my car vlog to go downtown to get my hair done, I had on the Charlotte Tilbury Mesmerize, mer Mesmerizing Maroon palette. I'm going to show you a look with that today. I, my eyes aren't very clean because like I said, I'm being super careful when I wash my face, not to scrub my eyes, because I'm trying to help them recover from overusing the lash serum. So I'm using the Garnier Micellar Water that's supposed to remove waterproof makeup. And I'm using a Q-tip to do it so that I don't apply too much pressure. I think that's clean enough to do a look. What say you? I'm gonna have a hard time getting my mascara to stick. Let's begin. So today I'm going to use the Bobbi Brown, let's start with foundation. I'm gonna use the Bobbi Brown face base as my primer because it's moisturizing. And I saw a video recently of somebody saying that the uh, NARS soft matte is just too much coverage. It's just too heavy. So I'm going to do a demo using that foundation. And I did say it has a lot of coverage. And it does have a lot of coverage. You just need to go in sparingly. You can... Customize it to how, how much coverage you want. And I have the color Sahal, Sahal, and it's 2.5, and I, it's medium 2.5. And I think, I still think I'm going to, actually, I really don't look like I need to order another one. This one looks, but I do if I'm going to put it in the kit, right? And this is just one drop or you know one little serving it's probably a pea size and i can still see skin through it like that and i'm going to stop there i'm not putting any more on all right, let's do uh, eyeshadow primer. I'm going to use the, let's see if I have something different. I do have something different. Let's try this. Today we're going to try the Sephora Beauty Amplifier Prime Base Defard. Apophies. Eyeshadow primer. I, I have fun pronouncing the French part wrong. It's quite entertaining for me. Oh, wow, it's shaped funny. I guess it's shaped to go on your eyeball. I don't know. All right, I've had several of you talk about your bottom lash line liner not staying put. Okay, I just now put primer on my bottom lash line. I'm going to rub it in with my finger. So I don't get in there with a brush and exfoliate my eyelids. All right. That doesn't set up really fast. I'm patting it in because I don't want to rub on my eyes. Because they're... All right. That's the Sephora primer. And I have the Bobbi Brown face base on. Jacqueline Hill brush. The paint on these feel really good. I can't read what it is. It's a 33. And I'm going to take the maroon palette from Charlotte Tilbury. And I'm going to take the darkest color and put it in the outside corner.
I think when I looked at this on the website, it was to put this, this palette supposed to be good for green eyes. It makes green eyes pop. And my eyes are not green, although they look green now that I'm putting this on. They are blue with yellow flecks, but they look green when I use colors that are flattering for green eyes. I'm going to bring it underneath. Is that, I'm using that same one, one color. Kind of map out the eye. What I'm doing here is dragging it out. And I'm still using that same Jaclyn Hill brush. Now I'm going to take my finger, maybe not. I'll take another Jaclyn Hill brush. This one is 41. And I'm going to take this. That one was matte. I'm going to take this shimmery one right above it. I, I didn't look at how that she how she used these. I think I will just take it all, put it all over the lid with this flat flat brush. This is a Her shadows are so pretty. Charlotte Tilbury. I like, I, okay. I know there's some of you that can't stand Charlotte Tilbury stuff. That you think it's overpriced, blah, blah, blah. It might just be because her colors are well suited to my coloring why I like it so much. I'm going to take the light one. Oh, right here it is. Let's see what it says. Prime. Oh, you're supposed to take that one to prime your whole eyelid. Well, I didn't. Now I'm going to put it up here underneath my brow. The lightest one. Number one that says prime. Okay, and then the one that I put all over my lid, it says enhance. I think I already have glitters on my contacts. It says enhance. And that the, the first one I used was smoke, which is what I was doing, right? I don't always get the outside shape the way it should be, and I always fix that with my concealer. I know that's probably sloppy. All right, this one was called what? Pop. Well, it's not popping on top of Enhance, so I'm going to use that along the top of on the seam between the lightest one and that first matte one. Put it underneath. And then go back with the one that you were that's supposed to be base. Put it there. All right. Let's do an eyeliner. Do I have my, I do not have my Charlotte Tilbury. Let's just use the black. 
the Sigma Wicked. And I'm trying to scrub it up between my eyelashes. And out here on the outside corner, like that. There goes the, the Amazon truck. I wonder if they brought me anything. All right, there we go. Oh boy. Let's see. I'm gonna take the collab pencil in the color sorry not sorry i'm going to sharpen it I, I believe this is a lip pencil it is lip contouring pencil but i'm going to use it on my eyes my it's about the color of walk of no shame i'm putting it between my Lashes on the bottom. And then I'm going to take the Charlotte Tilbury palette again. And I'm going to take that matte one and do a lot of it in the center on the bottom and drag it down. All right, I'm going to use the eyelash primer from Tarte. It's called Opening Act. I'm going to use it underneath the Charlotte Tilbury Push Up Mascara today. I think yesterday I just used the Charlotte Tilbury Push Up, and it was good, but I want to see what it does over the top of a primer. Here's the push-up mascara. It's got a nice comey wand. It really gets in between those light and grabs those lashes and separates them. I guess it's so you can get in there and push them up. And you can. Very interesting. grab those out ones, outside ones and pull them out. All right, let's do some eyebrows. I want a, I'm just going to take this one. This one's a Sigma E75. And I'm using the color Baby I'm the Star from Anastasia Beverly Hills. There we go. And let's use the Benefit 24 Hour Brow Setter to angle those brows up. I like them to look big and bushy. My brides, I do not do this to my brides because 99% of the time, actually 99.9% .9 of the time, they want them brushed down. I think one time I did a 
bride and didn't ask her, you know, what she wanted. And I was just taming them all down. And she says, I want them pushed, I want them combed up. I should have known though, because her one of her favorite makeup products was the Benefit 24 Hour Brow Setter. So there you have it. Okay, the foundation is on. I like the uh, Dose of Colors concealer in the color 11. I need a brush to brush it out. I don't usually go for this color. I usually go for the lightest, the lightest concealer with a pink undertone. This one has a warm undertone, but I like it. My brush, my brush handle smells good. I store, I had some old coffee beans that it, I'd had for over a year. And I wasn't going to use them because I figured they were stale. So I put them in over here in one of my containers to make my brushes stand up. And it makes the handles smell like coffee. It's awesome sauce. Alright. So I'm going to take the... Yeah, there we go. The base color. Put it over the top of the enhanced color. Like that. And then go back with the enhanced color because I a blush. I want to do a visa today. I'm going to use my Hobby Lobby brush. They still smell like kettle corn to me. The Wanderlust from Buxom. And this is Ibiza. I don't have any bronzer on yet. Let's use the Charlotte Tilbury since we used the Charlotte Tilbury eyeshadow palette. The color I have is number two. And it's airbrush bronzer. So I'm using this, it's called a multicast brush from Real Techniques. And it's soft and rounded. And I'm gonna buff this bronzer on right over the top of my blush, like that. Across the top of my nose. And I'm buffing it in versus wiping it on. My uh, burn is looking good now. Looks like I have herpes on my neck. 
While the camera was cooling off, I finished putting on my bronzer and I put the Becca Hydrolite lip balm on and I used the Wanderlust, no, Wander Beauty pencil in bronze. Is that what color it is? What color is this? Bronzed brown. I use that as my lip liner. And now I am going to put on, oh, I put on another coat of the Push Up Mascara from Charlotte Tilbury. And now I'm going to do some opal highlight from Becca. I'm using this big fat Morphe fan brush. And what's good about this brush is there's so many bristles. You can, these highlighters get more highlighty when you buff them. You know what I mean? It's kind of like buffing a piece of silver. It gets shinier. Well, I think these products get shinier when you buff them. Charlotte Tilbury Mesmerizing Maroon. Is that what it's called? sending me these nice products I as I'm eternally grateful I really do appreciate them and I really enjoy using them and I enjoy sharing them the things that you send me with the viewers I thank you very much and I thank you girl you viewers for watching and I hope you enjoyed this look Please give me a thumbs up. That thing down there. Click that. And if you're not subscribed, subscribe. And leave me a comment and let me know what kind of look you want to see next. Y'all have a great evening and I'll see you again tomorrow.